In July 1944, a man had been honoured with the Iron Cross Second Class by Nazi Germany for his services to the German war effort. November 1944, the man was receiving the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire award from King George VI. The man had been awarded military honours by both Nazi Germany and Allied Britain, nations opposed to each other during World War II. The man is none other than Juan Puyol Garcia, a Spanish spy who acted as a double agent loyal to Great Britain against Nazi Germany during World War II. In 1931, in his early years of life, Pujol did his six months of compulsory military service in a cavalry unit, the 7th Regiment of Light Artillery. In the Spanish Civil War, Pujol fought on both sides. In 1940, during the early stages of World War II, Pujol decided that he must contribute for the good of humanity by helping Britain, which was at the time Germany's only adversary. Starting in January 1941, he approached the British Embassy in Madrid three different times, including through his wife, but they showed no interest in employing him as a spy. Therefore, he resolved to establish himself as a German agent before approaching the British again to offer his services as a double agent. Pujol created an identity as a fanatically pro-Nazi Spanish government official who could travel to London on official business. He contacted Friedrich Knapperati and the German military intelligence service agent in Madrid, codenamed Frederico. The German military intelligence service accepted Pujol and gave him a crash course in espionage, including secret writing, a bottle of invisible ink, a code book, and $600 for expenses. His instructions were to move to Britain and recruit a network of British agents. He moved instead to Lisbon. Using a tourist's guide to Britain, reference books and magazines from the Lisbon Public Library, and newsreel reports he saw in cinemas, he created seemingly credible reports that appeared to come from London. During his time in Portugal, he stayed in Estoril at the Hotel Palacio. He claimed to be travelling around Britain, and submitted his travel expenses based on fares listed in a British railway guide. During this time, he created an extensive network of fictitious sub-agents living in different parts of Britain. Because he had never actually visited the UK, he made several mistakes, such as claiming that his alleged contact in Glasgow would do anything for a litre of wine, unaware of Scottish drinking habits, or that the UK did not use the metric system. His reports were intercepted by the British Ultra Communications Interceptions Programme and seemed so credible that the British Counterintelligence Service, MI5, launched a full-scale spy hunt. The British had become aware that someone had been misinforming the Germans and realised the value of this after the Kriegsmarine, the Navy of Nazi Germany, wasted resources attempting to hunt down a non-existent convoy reported to them by Pujol. He was moved to Britain by MI5 on 24th April 1942 and given the codename Bovril. Pujol operated as a double agent under the counter-espionage of the British Security Service, MI5. Pujol's codename was changed to Garbo, the best actor in the world, looking at the extraordinary dimensions of Pujol's imagination. Together, Harris, an MI5 case officer and Pujol, wrote 315 letters, averaging 2,000 words, addressed to a post office box in Lisbon supplied by the Germans. His fictitious spy network was so efficient and verbose that his German handlers were overwhelmed and made no further attempts to recruit any additional spies in the UK. The information supplied to German intelligence was a mixture of complete fiction, genuine information of little military value, and valuable military intelligence artificially delayed. In November 1942, just before the Operation Torch landings in North Africa, Garbo's agent on the River Clyde reported that a convoy of troop ships and warships had left port, painted in Mediterranean camouflage. While the letter was sent by air mail and postmarked before the landings, it was deliberately delayed by British intelligence to arrive too late to be useful. Pujol received a reply stating, we are sorry they arrived too late, but your last reports were magnificent.